Joining me with a closer look at how recent events are heating up in the long-running Charger saga are my guest, former Charger linebacker Jim Lazovic, sports director at NBC San Diego, and Tony Manolados, owner and CEO of Apex Strategy and a consultant to the mayor on stadium issues. And, and Tony, what did Mayor Faulkner hope to accomplish in meeting the team owners, NFL team owners in New York uh, th this past week? Well, he wanted to sell them on San Diego and sell them on this plan. And he, he, he felt really good coming out of that meeting. The mayor and his team felt like what they set out to do in New York City, excuse me, they accomplished. They felt really good about the feedback and the questions that they received at the meeting. So that's what I was going to say. They got some good questions that said mm -hmm. what? Uh, the questions weren't about the validity of the plan or about downtown. The questions were about, hey, what certainty can you provide us? We like the plan. We like what you're presenting here. What certainty can you provide us with a June vote? Yeah, and I think what the owners saw is, even though the Chargers are not cooperating with the city and the county right now, the city and the county are going ahead with its plans, and the, pl the plans are making sense. And so you, you hear one story the owners do from, from Fabiani and the Chargers, another from the city, and it's, it's important for the city to get its point across. Now, what do you think about the Chargers and uh, Raiders hiring Disney CEO Bob Iger? Is this a game changer, Jim? Uh, you know, I don't, you know, t Tony's enlightened me a little bit over the past hour. We've been sitting in the green room. Uh, it, it is. I, I think it's, it's eye candy. Uh, it, it's, it's, uh, it, it gets your attention. And then when you, when you pull back and see what, what, it, what it entails, well, not really. I mean, it, it is another piece. And I, and I wish the Chargers would go out and get, I mean, the city would go out and get its own uh, Bob Iger. Uh, let's find our own billionaires who want to invest in the city and invest in the Chargers. Well, uh, Jim, as a, a former Charger and sports director at uh, NBC San Diego, what do you think about the Chargers teaming up with the Raiders? Do you think that's an option that could work? <laughs> <laughs> you, you're both laughing. Well, it's unbelievable. I, you know, I've always thought this is a head fake on the part of the Chargers, the whole Carson thing. But they are lining up a lot of impressive help. Iger's part of it and, and Goldman Sachs, obviously. And, and the Raiders seem somewhat committed to this whole scheme. But I, I, I continue to think it's, it's a head fake. And uh, as a former Charger player, I mean, we battled against the Raiders. They were, they were our bitter rival and they were obnoxious. And they let, it, let us know that they have one of our Super Bowl trophies. And, uh, and so, yeah, I, I don't like the thought. I don't see them both continuing in the AFC West. I mean, how, how can that happen? Let me have Tony weigh in on that because you were laughing the whole time too. <laughs> Bob Iger, uh, Disney, and also this idea that you could have uh, the Raiders and Chargers uh, on the same team, so to speak. I'm a fan of Disney. We're Disney vacation members in my family. <laughs> but uh, uh, yeah, this was just window dressing. Uh, we saw it as a, as a Hail Mary pass, a PR stunt, if you will. Uh, you know, if the Chargers were, were winning the race to L.A. and if the NFL didn't like what they saw in San Diego, you wouldn't be seeing this announcement made the way it was made to try to step on the mayor and Ron Roberts meeting in New York City. The Raiders, uh, Chargers, yeah, I mean, look, I, I grew up on the East Coast, but everybody understands that the Raiders and Chargers rivalry is intense. Right. <laughs> so, Boston and New York. All right. We, we have this rivalry. Do you yeah. think that L.A. fans would cozy up to either team? Well, we were talking about that earlier, and that's that's a tough sell. The L.A. market is very busy, and you, you have to be playing really good ball to get the attention of, of the Angelinos, who have a lot of a lot of options. Um, in San Diego, it's a different story. We have options here. We have a great climate here, but the Chargers own this market. There's no competition for them here in San Diego. Let me ask you this, Jim. Uh, the Union Tribune's Kevin A.C. wrote that San Diego could end up with the Raiders if the Chargers left. What do you think about that? A real possibility? Well, uh, the moment uh, the Chargers leave, uh, we'll be looking for a, a different team, and uh, we would embrace whichever team came our direction. I, I honestly believe that, even the Raiders. What do you think about that, Tony? Well, he actually enlightened me today. He said, have you seen the attendance numbers this year? I said, no, I haven't. He said, they're still selling over 60,000 seats. 66,000, 68,000. Well, there were football fans in this town, and that's, that's the message the NFL has to get. We are football fans in this town. We're a good sports town, too. And, Jim, we'll end on this. What would losing the Chargers mean to San Diego? Oh, I, you know, we're still a great city. Uh, you know, obviously having played for them and covered them for 35 years, uh, I'd hate to see it happen, but we're going to be a great city regardless. I think, though, having a new stadium is, is a great regional asset, and it's important for us to continue as a city to have structures like that so we can house more than just pro football. But, yeah, perfect scenario. Don't leave, so we don't, I don't have to answer that question. <laughs> All right, Jim and Tony, thank you so much. Thanks, Peggy. Thanks, Peggy.